Hi, I'm Brian Wagner from Wagner's Rose Nursery. We're located in the lower southeast of South Australia in a small town called Kalangadu. We've most probably got about uh, six acres of roses under production, so there'd be at least 800 different varieties on the property. We grow a lot of standards, we do a lot of bush, we grow a lot of old world varieties, so we've actually got quite a big mix of roses that we grow on this property. We're the sole agent in South Australia for a French breeder called Delbard Roses. They are certainly suited to this climate, they grow exceptionally well in this area. I'm also the agent for David Austin Roses and also there's a couple of Australian breeders that are starting to do quite well as well. So we're sort of handling a few Australian bred roses, so that's on the increase. So there's some good interesting material coming out of this country. The majority of new release varieties that are coming onto the market are exceptionally good. The emphasis in breeding these days for new release varieties is clean roses, meaning that they are disease resistant to uh, your fungal diseases and also fragrance. So there's actually a huge swing back to perfume in the industry. So we're quite often looking at uh, these new release varieties which are incredibly healthy and in most cases a lot of perfume. Where we're standing at right at this very moment, this time last year was just a paddock. There was nothing in this area. So we grow what we call one and two year old rose bushes on the property. We plant on plastic, so we have a machine that actually lays plastic and then we start cutting rootstock. We put them into what we call a sawdust bed and then we'll leave them in there for about three weeks and then they get transplanted out into the field. And then it's just a growing on period over the winter months and then we start budding usually about early to mid-November. Budding is us collecting bud wood for the budders. I have two Belgian butters that are actually working for me at the moment. These guys do about 4,000 buds a day. Um, they're the best find that I've had for a long time. These guys are just brilliant. They're, they're lovely, uh, lovely people. Um, so then it's just a matter of care and, and maintaining your plants and we're getting ready for, for our busy season. So that is cutting root stock and then we start lifting plants for the, for the market. I do all the grading of the roses here, so I oversee all of that. What we're looking for in a first grade plant is uh, generally multiple canes and we're looking at a good root system. Visually, it's what's on top sells the plant, um, but the root system is by far the most important part of uh, what we consider to be a first grade plant. We're doing sort of wholesale and retail, but the fact that uh, online sales these days are quite an important part to most businesses, we've decided to go online, so they're dispatched all over Australia and they transport exceptionally well. If you we talk about, just say in general Australia at the present, for what you'd, you'd be calling a non-native plant, I think it's most probably the toughest plant that you can grow. Like during some of the drought seasons, the feedback that we get from people is that the one thing that has stood up in my garden are roses. You've got your climbing varieties, you've got your pillar type varieties, your, your shrub, your hybrid teas. There's just a massive range in the whole industry and it keeps evolving, you know, it keeps getting bigger and better. So yeah, I, th I just think there's just a massive selection of what we can choose from.